Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. We've got Halo Hero Series 15, it's finally here. And all of this news is from the amazing people at Halo Podcast Evolve. These guys, if you haven't heard of them already, have the most premium Halo podcast on the internet, and they cover all things Mega Constructs with their episodes Build With Blocks. Now, only today they had Kevin MCX, one of the designers at Mega Constructs, on the podcast, and he helped reveal Halo Hero Series 15. So if you have not checked out this podcast, don't watch my video, go and watch that one first. And all of this is part of Halo Universe, a genius idea by Mega Constructs to differentiate Infinite from other Halo games. Let's check these figures out. I want to also just apologize for any noise interference on this video. There's a typhoon outside right now. We're going to start with the figure I'm most excited about, the Honor Guard. Guys, we got a new Honor Guard. I still can't afford the old one. This is the brand new Light of Sanghelios Honor Guard. Can you think of a better figure? Here's the image of the old Honor Guard from Series 3, one of the most expensive Mega Constructs figures out there, and we really needed a reset of this figure. I actually commented on a video recently saying they only ever released it once. And let's talk about that, the Light of Sanghelios. Now, this is also a really cool move. To differentiate the base plates, they have symbols of all the different characters on the base plate. Instead of the particular series, which I never really liked that much, we've got actual insignias from the characters, which is way better. The Light of Sanghelios Elite Ultra, the best nod to the original Halo trilogy I could think of. And then the other baddie from this series is Decimus. You know, some people aren't excited about this. I actually am. I think he looks really great, and it's about time we got him again. He got original releases in the Frost Raven and in Halo Hero Series 4. And, you know, he's not one of the most expensive Halo heroes, but I say bring it on. I love this game in Halo Wars 2, so why not? Let's get a brand new figure for Decimus. He looks absolutely menacing. I think not really much has changed from this one and previous Decimuses. Decimai? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know what the plural is for that, but you can see that banished symbol on his base plate is so sick. I think it's a really great thing that they're including the factions. And here we have Agent Locke. This was a surprise. I really was surprised by this one, but I'm very impressed. We haven't seen Locke since Halo Nightfall in this attire, and that series, you know, some people like it, some people don't. I think it was decent, but I'm really happy to see just Mega Constructs acknowledging all this different lore. This series celebrates comic books, TV shows, even spin-off games. Here we have the original appearance of Locke, or Agent Locke, that is, before he donned the Spartan armor. This is from the Smuggler's Intercept, but a lot is different between these two figures. He's removed most of his armor at this point, huge guns, and the Oni symbol on the Agent Lock base plate, like so badass. Office of Naval Intelligence, baby. I'm actually very, very excited about this figure. It was a really good move by Mega. Then we've got the third ODST from Fireteam Raven. People didn't really know if they were gonna continue this. They did it in series nine and 11. 11. 10, they took a break for the anniversary, but then it was, you know, all quiet on the front. But then again, there has been no original Halo characters in Halo Heroes for a couple of series while they've been doing nothing but Infinite. And Fireteam Raven, I played this in America two years ago. I'm going to play it a lot more when I go back there. It's a really dope game. So I'm very happy to hear Kevin on the podcast acknowledging that they're probably going to complete the whole series. We need all of the ODSTs. Here is Graves from Series 9 and Lang from Series 11. Both really dope figures. So I am all about welcoming this third ODST brother into the family. Like, you know me, I am all about the ODSTs. I love that green visor and that base play. You can't see it very well there, but it's got that Hell Jumper logo, baby. Like, this is just a dream figure. I'm very happy with this. Great Assault Rifle too. Talking of great characters, we've got Spartan Linda 058 in her Shadows of Reach attire. Like, this looks so good with that Arrow of Time sniper rifle. Yes, we did get Linda in the 20th anniversary set recently, but slightly different. And I think it is 
safe to assume that most of the 20th anniversary set we will get re-released. For example, Emil and Carter in the Falcon. This is probably the most detailed figure and weapon of the series. And it's just so beautiful that we have Blue Team from Shadows of Reach complete now. We had Fred in the Chopper and Kelly in the Razorback. And this pretty much confirms Blue Team in Halo Infinite, if you ask me. This Spartan Linda looks absolutely gorgeous. A brand new helmet and shoulders as confirmed by Kevin MCX. That completes Halo Heroes Series 15. What a comeback. From sort of the... I don't know, people have been on the fence about the last couple of series of Halo Heroes because they haven't been named characters. They are back with a bang, baby. Five. Pretty much four named characters in that elite honor guard, but like, that is probably the greatest lineup ever made. Shout out to Podcast Evolved. They are doing such a quality job at cataloging all of the Mega Constructs, Mega Blocks releases over the years and doing a ton of amazing work with the lore of Halo. So please do go subscribe to Podcast Evolved. All of the news came from them and I just want them to grow as big as possible before Infinite. This was another video with The Domain, guys. Please do let me know in the comments down below which is your favorite figure from this series. Do you think series 15 is the best series yet? Or do you think there is a better one than this? I would love to know all your thoughts down below and keep it with the domain for all your Halo collecting news.